Coach Walker, your season ended yesterday at the 4-3 to three loss to Will Springs in the district semifinals. Um, came down to the last inning. Just tell me your thoughts on the way the, the game unfolded for your team. Well, I'd like to have been able to score more than three runs. You know, I think we're a lot better team than that. Uh, we didn't get some key hits. Whenever we had people on base, we left them stranded on base there. Uh, we had some uh, aggressive base running that we've done all year long that, that got us a couple runs early in the game. But uh, towards the end of the game there, it ended up costing us, you know, the we had the tying run on third base. Uh, throw was in from the outfield, missed the cutoff shortstop in the outfield, and I'd sent my base runner home, and she ended up slipping down in like a runner's position there. And then whenever I had her come back, she was in a rundown, and, and I believe she would have been safe off the start, but uh, ended up getting out, and that hurts having the first out at third base right there. You know, that's kind of the rule of thumb in baseball or softball. You never want to do that. Had her in scoring position and, and, and got her out. But at uh, the same time, I look back on it now, you know, I wish, uh, wish you still at third base in hindsight, but uh, that's not the way the world operates. So, but Talk about the way you guys ran the bases all year. You guys were by far, of anybody we played, the most aggressive on the base pass. And you got two runs in the first inning playing that way. And, and then, like you mentioned, you lost a runner playing that way as well. But just tell me your philosophy on the base pass and how it's really helped you guys and how it helped you yesterday, too. I think we're very aggressive, according to other people. You know, we're, we're going to trade it out for a run. Mm -hmm. And we're... We're going to continue to do that, uh, and the girls are buying into that. It, it allows us to put a lot of pressure on other teams. They have to make the play. They have to be uh, to go over these situations or scenarios for the game, or they're going to be placed into a, a type of um, situation where they're not going to get no outs, and we're going to end up scoring the run. Um, I think it's helped us all year long. Um, it greatly outweighs, you know, the the other of not being not being uh, aggressive. So uh, it's a mistake there yesterday, but it's it's just one of them deals that uh, we need to we need to continue to be aggressive, and uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. We talked before the game, and we knew that uh, part of the key to pitching yesterday would be not walking runners and, and Kayla just didn't have her best stuff yesterday and, and you had to pull her at the top of the second inning and they scored four runs and all four of those runners reached by walks and then one hit by batter. Um, just tell me about what you saw out of uh, Kayla and then you brought in Taylor Franklin who doesn't throw hard but she threw strikes and didn't walk anybody. I think she walked one maybe and, and kind of did a nice job in relief for you guys. She did and, and you know that's why she's there. I mean Kayla's my best pitcher as far as that goes, but uh, Taylor Franklin's going to come in and throw strikes. Um, you know, early in the game, uh, it, it's a pressure situation. It's something that she will she'll remember forever. It's something that she has to live with, you know, just like me making a mistake there at third base. And hopefully it'll make her a better pitcher and she'll want to work harder. I do know when we got off the bus after the game, she said, Coach Walker, I'm going to work on my pitching right now till next season. And I even talked to her on the phone. After that, you know, it was talk, discussing some things about the parade today, and, and you know, she was asking ways to to make her where she can throw harder and some things like that. So, you know, that may be something that helps her out for next year. Uh, Taylor Franklin came in and done a good job. There's been a couple of times she's came in this year and, and not done what she's supposed to. But you know, her expectations in that situation is a lot. You know, hey Taylor your turn to pitch, you're going to come in at those strikes, and then whenever she walks one or two, you're thinking, oh, my gosh, what is what is going on here? But, uh, you know, that kid really I don't think ever sees pressure. So she handles it very well, and, and I was very proud of the way she came in there and very proud of the way, you know, we switch up about five defensive players there, and uh, they all made plays too. You know, I have an outfielder that comes in and, and plays third base, and she's done a good job, and, and um, we just need to continue to get better. You guys out hit Willow Springs eight to three. It just didn't seem like you could get the the clutch hit. Um, had opportunities with runners on scoring base and just never could get that one big hit to kind of open things up. Yeah, we, we had a really big inning, you know, an opportunity for a big inning in the in the I don't know, maybe in the fifth or sixth inning there, and we had our, our number eight batter or number nine batter got on base. And then we came up there and had one, two, three with zero outs and we ended up you know, we had runners on second and third with our uh, lead off batter up and we scored no runs in that situation and I said you know that, that was kind of a dagger there and I think I might have mentioned that to you at the game I mean man we really need to come out of that with a run or two mm -hmm. and we just was not able to I think a pop out 
uh, strikeout and maybe even another strikeout. And you know, these are these are batters that's batting close to 500 and 500 mm. and above. Yeah. So. You know, it's unfortunate that happens, but you know the expectation is high that they've set all year. But we uh, can't do it every game. Right. Everybody's going to have a good game and, and a bad game, and, and you know it's just unfortunate some of our key players didn't play up to their potential. So, what are your thoughts on how the season un- unfolded this year? And you return everybody, or everyone can return next year. So, your thoughts about the team moving forward on the next year? Hey, next year should be their year. You know, the, the district could change where they're where they're going to play at. You know, I I feel that they have a good shot in that district over there. Um, we're the expectations is going to be up for them next year, and they're going to have to back that up. They're no longer going to be what's considered to be underclassmen or young. They're going to have juniors and, and seniors on the team and a couple freshmen. I'm very pleased with the freshmen that I had. I had two freshmen step in this year and play in varsity and with uh, you know some two or three games there I felt that they played you know like freshmen should other than that they played above their expectations all year long and you know then when our, them games that I'm talking about they had a couple errors um, my catcher came along great this year I mean she's really improved and has learned the game um, we got Maddie Vandiver learned the game and had 30-some steals this year, okay, opposed to, I think, our 14 last year. And I can go back through and look at all these batting averages. We've lowered our strikeouts. Um, Taylor Franklin got injured in the middle of this year there. I mean, she's right up there, almost to 30 steals a game, too. Um, Kayla Kelly, we expected her. We talked early in the year, and her expectations was to pitch two or three innings by the middle end of season Mm -hmm. and you know she was thrown in a situation where um, due to some roster changes and some uh, unforeseen circumstances uh, she was having to pitch seven innings and and I think she done a great job there of having to do that and and step in and fill that fill that role Um, we had some outfielders come along that's that's came a long way that learned some lessons this year and you know I'm I'm proud of the team because they've had to overcome what seems like a lot of adversity this year um, and we're doing a lot better job of keeping our head up in some you know situations some things don't always go right you can go your way and we got to stay positive and keep our head up in order to get through that Coach, it's obviously difficult when your season ends and the girls were obviously upset. Just talk about what your message was to them yesterday. Well, I told them, you know, it's unfortunate. It has to come to an end sometime or another. You know, I'd like for it to come to an end tomorrow night. Um, the district championship or went on and played. I think it would have been Tuesday of next week, you know, and you'd have been in state, and that was our goal to begin with. But uh, we was unable to do that. We didn't come out and perform like we needed to perform, you know, at this level here. You know, once you make it to the... To this game, you know, make it past the first round. It's whoever's going to make the least amount of mistakes, and we didn't take advantage of some of our opportunities. But you know, we will be back here for homecoming, and that was that was a big thought. And, and you know, we had a letter to the editor um, from Fred Ashland, I believe it was, and, and he wanted didn't want me to be padding my resume, so we got that taken care of. My daughter will be in uh, homecoming tonight, so I'll actually get to be a parent, come there and watch her, and so will Coach Hall. His son will be in there. And, you know, we can go on and, and get this homecoming event out of the way. And, uh, but I, for myself, for me to be happy, I'd rather be over there competing for a district championship and apologizing to my daughter for not being there for homecoming. But it didn't work out like that.